Hello. So I was asked to demonstrate how we can take a single page that's already in the shared resource library and turn it into a lesson with many different learning activities in it. So the page we're going to talk about here is in shared resources. So in the resource browser, we click on that, and then we click on the multiple silhouettes, which is the shared resources. We're going to go into activities and templates. And from there, we're going to go into activities and 100 grids. So these two are pretty similar. We're going to choose this guy right in the middle, pop that out there. And uh, so at first glance, hey, it's a hundreds chart, whoopee. But uh, what we can do is we can say, all right, can we highlight all the multiples of two? And I could do this and have the students count with me. I could choose a student to do it, and then the other students could count with those students. The key is you really want to do everything you can to engage all the students and really not put anybody to sleep. You might stop there and say, all right, what comes next? 10, all right. So if we go to the next row, what number then? 12. Page reset is always your best friend when you do these things. So you can start over. And instead of saying, hey, highlight the multiples of two, um, I could do something like this. And so this is going to be a little bit more advanced. And I could ask the students, what number comes next? And in order to answer that, they have to determine the pattern. So re really, it's about patterning here as well as skip counting. So I think the highlight feature is, is really, really important. And um, maybe do something like this. And if you, you highlight them all, what they begin to see is the pattern. So I could hold my cursor down here and say 63. Is that going to be part of the pattern? 64, is that going to be? 65, is that going to be part of the pattern? And that's, that's really where the extension of the learning comes into play, because we don't teach that stuff explicitly, but we're getting them to understand how it all works. So down here, we have some action buttons. If I click on the black, it blanks out all the numbers. And I could take this guy, which is really magic ink, and I could put that over that. And if I hold my cursor here under the 23, I could say, well, what number is that? And they have to learn that that number is going to be 10 more. What number is this to the right of it? Maybe I hold my cursor somewhere way off down here on the right, and I say, why don't you estimate? What number do you think this is going to be? And so they're going to have to count over by ones and down by tens. And uh, they might be off a little bit, but that's the whole point of estimation is, is giving it your best shot. So if I click on that, it brings that back. Um, so if I bring this again, well, I can actually, if I highlight, let's say a five, and I get rid of that guy, I can get rid of the numbers. So I can actually ask the students now to count along with me. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Question now, what number is under the green square? And I think if you had asked the students this initially without, without scaffolding up to that question, they'd be totally lost. So you're really showing them, hey, you guys can figure this stuff out with, with the patterns. Even if, you ha if I have not taught that to you, you're smart enough to, to figure that out. And that's really important. So these four action buttons, this one brings back the numbers. This one blanks it all out, but makes it susceptible to the magic ink. Um, and that one also toggles the, the blanking it out. So just several different ways to use something as simple as the hundreds chart that is already in there. There's a similar hundreds chart under activities and templates for learner response under math starters. So I'll pull that one out. Every time I do this, it adds a page to my flip chart. And these will conceal it. So it's what number's up at the top, what number's here, what, and so on. And these will do something similar to the last page, which will highlight it. So there you go, just a bunch of different ways. And I'm sure you can think of many, many more ways to do that.